If you have the kind of site that really benefits from having a forum, then the forum module that we turned on a couple of videos ago is really helpful. In case you didn't turn it on, click on Extend, scroll down to Forum, and make sure there's a check mark there, and click Install. Assuming you're all set, click on Content, and click on Add Content. The forum module actually creates a new content type called Forum Topics. Once again, these are fieldable, so you're not restricted to just the title and the body. Click on Forum Topic, and let's have a new forum topic called Learning Drupal. In the forum, go ahead and put it in the general discussion. Hi, I'm just learning Drupal. Can someone help me. Click Save and Publish. Now because it's in the forum content type, the way you respond is through adding comments. Sure, I can help. Go ahead and add this comment. You should just read everything at Drupalville and click Save. Once again, because we're logged in as the super user, these are automatically approved. So now if I click on General Discussion, I have one general discussion forum topic called Learning Drupal with one comment. If I click on one comment, I can continue to add comments, as can other people, and create all kinds of forums. In the breadcrumbs, go ahead and click on the word forums. So this is the layout most people are familiar with. I can click here to add a new forum topic that will be in the general discussion forum. But as the administrator, I might want more forums than just this. Go ahead and click on structure and click on forums. And here's where I can add new forums and new containers. If I want to add a forum about learning Drupal, I can do that, and now I can reorder them any way I want. If I come back out to content now, and add content, and a forum topic, now I have the choice of putting it in the other forums. So you can maintain a nice forum like this in your Drupal website if that's something that you need to do.